So today, VidSF is gonna take you on a behind the scenes tour of the San Francisco Zoo. Let's go see some of those amazing animals. I'm here with Gwendolyn, the PR relations manager for San Francisco Zoo. So it is the 80th anniversary of the San Francisco Zoo, opening its doors in 1929. And we're going to talk a little bit about the new things that you can see here at the San Francisco Zoo. So if you haven't been to the SF Zoo in a while, what kind of things do you want to hit first that are going to be new and exciting for people to come and see? We'll definitely go to the uh, Jones Family Gorilla Preserve. The infant gorilla is absolutely adorable and he's out all day long now he's been uh, introduced the entire troop so uh, he's probably a favorite uh, the Savannah as well I think the children's zoo is very unique as uh, because it gives everybody up close uh, entertainment a lot of interactive things going on and we also have our keeper connections this summer which people can go throughout the zoo at different times of the day and they can meet the keepers uh, this is a big favorite because everybody wants to meet the people who take care of the animals so it's a very unique experience it'll happen from July through August and it's throughout the zoo at different different locations so just check when you come in so we are in the Corette ARC or Animal Resource Center this is the place that gives animals a second chance there are rehab animals that were injured either in snowmobile accidents car accidents you name it and also refugees of the pet trade people that are coming to the zoo to visit they can come and see all of these different um, rehab and rescue animals Absolutely. at the ARC we keep these animals off exhibit for most of the day, but from one to two we do an open house during the summer where people get to walk through our building and see our animals. It's a lot of fun. We get to do a lot of events where we get to talk to the and interact with the public, which is what I enjoy most about my job. I like feeling like um, these animals are here for a reason. It's not just that they're, they're not re-releasable, uh, re they wouldn't survive in the wild, but they're not just stuck here, not making a difference. They're helping, um, they're ambassadors for their kind, they're ambassadors for their species, they're teaching people about the animals and the more people know the more people will care and the more people will work to protect these animals and their habitat.